coming up in today's Battle Report. Hello, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, me and Harry again. This is yes. not the report you should have been seeing. It uh, really isn't. <laughs> no, we've been sort of trapped in last minute as, uh, unfortunately, uh, Seb has gone and caught the Rona and um, is now isolating. Get off soon, mate, but you're really annoying. So <laughs> we're, we're here late on a Friday evening, uh, Friday evening? Monday mm -hmm. evening, that's why we've gone bot already, doing a very quick game for you. Um, so it's only 500 points to you. I'm sure you'll see at this point. Um, I'm running my Salamanders, Harry's running his guard. Armies you both know, <laughs> apparently, quite well. Well, um, you're taking those to the LGT. Yeah, I'm taking one for the LGT, but not this list, obviously. Oh, um, not. And God, I played pretty much since, well, they were the first army I collected when I got back into 40k at the end, end of 7th. So we should know them really well. We still make mistakes. It's us, you know that by now. But anyway, stick with us, guys. It's short and sweet one, hopefully, this week. Well, not hopefully, but this week. Um, like the piece, yeah, thank you again so much for the getting past all thousand subs. If you're not subscribed already, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't felt subscribed, please like anyway and maybe comment down below. We'll catch you in the list of tech guys. See you soon. Okay then guys, so here is my 500 points of Salamanders. This is a really small looking army, but here we go. So leading up the force, we have Adrax Agatone. Uh, he is my Warlord, and thus he has his inbuilt Warlord trait, the Lord of Fire which allows me to uh, re-roll the number of shots on flame weapons. So in this army, his own pistol and the aggressors. We then have, sorry, this is a patrol attachment. So following up the rest of the patrol in the mandatory slots, we have a unit of six intercessors, um, all with bolt rifles. Nice and straightforward. Uh, the intercessor sergeant has a chainsaw, it's not modeled, but it's there because it's free, why wouldn't I? We then have a unit of aggressors. Um, this is three aggressors plus their sergeant for a squad size so of four. We have Flamestorm Gauntlets, it's a Salamander army, it's not going to be Bolters, are we? Is it really, guys? Um, so these are the main sort of bulk of the army in terms of the heavy hitting, um, either be punching things or burning them. Um, we've got to try and take out a tank, that's going to be fun. And by last, but by no means least, we have an Eliminator Squad. I have not used these guys in Knife, and it, they're only 75 points, so let's see what they can do. I'm running them with the Bolt Sniper variants. Um, I looked at the uh, D3 Blast rounds and giggled the thought of uh, the poor old guardsman getting hit by exploding bullets. That sounds like quite fun to me. Um, a little bit sadistic, I know. Uh, they've obviously got their camo cloaks, which will make the guards' life even harder to hit them if they can get themselves into some cover. So that's the list, guys. At 500 points, there's not a lot to go through. Um, no relics, because the only character I have is Adrax, and he has many relics of his own, so hasn't got any from the armory. I did consider spending a CP on making the aggressor sergeant's um, weapons what's it called? Mastercrafted. Uh, and then decided, I haven't got a lot of CP, let's use that for some stratagems and fun anyway. Um, so if we're going that, let's see what the guard are bringing. And we're back with you in just a second. Right, so here is 500 points of Imperial Guard. So for the first time in what seems like forever, I'm actually going to be running the Steel Legion Doctrine. So that allows um, unit, well, allows my infantry to have an 18 inch rapid fire and my one tank to ignore AP minus one. So starting off in the HQ slots, I've got a tank commander. He's got his Dimash cannon and three heavy bolters. I've also spent a command point to give him the up armored tank ace trait. So that means that um, his armor save has increased to a two plus. So combine that with the Steel Legion Doctrine should make him pretty immune to anti-infantry shots. In my troop selection, I've got um, three infantry squads. Um, each of these is bare bones, apart from the Voxcaster, which boosts my orders and means I can get my keep my platoon commander out of harm's way. Then finally, into elites, I've got my platoon commander. So he is my warlord in this mission, and I've given him master command, so he can order two units a turn, and then lords of command, which means that um, if I order a unit. I roll dice and on a four plus additional order can be issued to that same unit. And then as my last bit of counter punch, I've got my command squad here equipped with four plasma guns. So yeah, that is 500 points of guard onto mission and deployment.
Today's mission is Outriders from the Cool Rulebook, using the secondary ejectors from the Grand Tournament 2021 mission pack. The secondary ejectors for the Astra Militarum are Engage All Fronts, Retrieve Octarius Data, and To The Last. The Salamander's secondary ejectors are Over The Moment, Behind Enemy Lines, and Assassination. Okay, guys, so we are in and we are deployed. The Salamander's uh, not hiding, but hiding in the Mechanicus terrain here on the closest side to me. And the guard forces are arrayed Next on the far side. Barrel. Next to be fuel barrel. The Salamander's want the fuel or the petroleum. Um, so basically, Harry is <laughs> gone aggressive. I'm hiding from a tank. <laughs> that seems to be general play. Have you got anything in reserve, sir? No, I've got nothing in reserve. Neither have I. Um, so that makes life simpler. We're just looking to see who's going first. I've got my big dice destiny. After you, sir. That's oh, it is destiny. Ah, it doesn't bode well. Okay, guys. So there is the Ashramantarum, the Imperial Guard, the Steel Legion going first. We'll come back to you at the end of their movement phase because you don't really have a command phase anymore. I Yet. Guess, I guess Yet, I should say. Phase. So there we go guys, okay. we're back with you in just a moment. So that is the guard movement phase. Harry, talk us through what you've been up to, mate. So command phase, gain the command point, back up to three. Um, realistically, I'm just gonna push stuff out and then we'll go from there. So starting off with the tank commander, um, rolled a nice big six, so he has moved from here and just He's gone. Out, he's trundled over the um, the tractor because it's a tank. Yeah, let's, we're let's playing a little bit faster than loose, and like guys, it, it can fit. <laughs> um, the infantry squad here has advanced up. I will be probably doing move, move, move on them in a bit to get them into that table quarter, and then the last squad here is advanced over. And once again, I'll be doing move, move, move to get them onto that objective. Yeah, the objective is just in the ruins here, guys. Oh, there he is. For the stuff behind, um, I've got my one squad of Vox cars who will act as my sort of radio waves. And then the squad of infantry, not squad of infantry, sorry, the command squad, because I want to keep them alive for whilst we stand, we fight. To the last. To the last, sorry. Whatever it's called nowadays. Um, and to act as a counterpunch, they're being useful by doing it at retrieval tires data. Makes sense. So guard basically sacrificing all of their firepower? Yep, no shooting this turn one. Yep, to get themselves establishing a decent ball presence and trying to rack up some victory points in the early yeah. stage of the game. So move, move, move in orders. Yep, um, so I'll be doing move, move in this squad here. So that's using the box caster to bounce the order. 18. So they immediately um, have to do that. So they will move six plus four, so they're going 10 inches. High now, speed guardsmen. Um, faster than a jet bike, that Harry. They are faster than a jet bike. Now, um, I could with my relic do um, roll four plus see if they can do an additional order. I'm just not going to bother really because I just, all I want them to do is get on that objective. I presume you can't do move, move, move again. No, I can't. No, it has to be a different order. So it's, I could do for the Emperor or something like that, which could be shooting after advancing, but the Laz guns and they're not within harsh range. It's just not worth it. Fair enough. Uh, same thing with this squad here. They will do move, move, move. So they're going an extra. Oh, crikey, they are going. Six. Many, many places. So what's their movement now at this point? Uh, so they're going another 12 inches. <laughs> On top of the... Um, eight. So they've moved 20 inches effectively, or can move up to 20 inches this turn. Right, and how fast have we decided to reject by it was? 16 inches? Something like that. <laughs> Cry out loud. Effectively what they're going to do is they're just going to advance and sit on that objective. That makes perfect sense, getting that box. I believe they're... Because we should have mentioned, guys, we're counting the... I think it was the Sector Frontieris yes. red terrain. Um, we're counting that as obscuring just to get a bit of a different board out for you tonight, guys, rather than the typical ruins we tend to use. So we're counting that as fully obscuring, yeah. um, even though it's not meeting the GW five inch rule. But it's it's close enough, and as I said, it's, it's something a little bit different. Oh, if I painted when I painted the terrain, if I'd been bothered, I'd have put the windows in. <laughs> but this was originally for kill team guys, so windows being out made a difference. So that I believe is the guard turn. Yeah, I'll move. I'll move off camera. Yeah, move the guys off camera, and we'll come back to you with the end of the salamanders. Turn one movement in just a second. All right, then. So end of Salamander's turn one for movement. Toby, what have you done? Uh, so similar to Harry, spreading out, advancing some things, some things not. 
Um, so the aggressive, aggressive, oh, I should just call them aggressors. The intercessors have advanced, they've got in here, they've got a five on their advance roll to get that objective. Um, I'm, we're counting again, with obscuring, I'm safe from the tank for now. Um, the aggressors have advanced into the middle, that just gets them um, into 12 inch range of the squad here to toast them. So oh, by guards models. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, with Adrax there providing both his real number of shots aura to the aggressors and being within, wholly within six to the centre of the board for over the moment. Um, as you probably would imagine, the eliminators haven't moved. Because they are within five inches of that objective. Yeah, first two and five holding it. And I've got lines of sight onto the squad here if I don't kill them the aggressors to finish them off, or hyperfrag rounds through the windows. I uh, know, obscuring, we said. So No, because they're, they're, in the they're in the obscuring terrain. So I can shoot them with the hyperfrag rounds. I have no line of sight on the back at the moment. That's um, a good plan. That's part of Harry's plan, I imagine. Because that platoon commander only has three wounds. Yes, he does. He's very squishy. He's very squishy. Or he is the only one with wounds on as well. So that is the plan for the, the start of this game. So what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to collect a load of dice. We'll roll number of shots to start off with. Um, from the four aggressors, I will just check they've got the last got back guy in range. They did. Wonderful. So. They have two shots, two D6 shots each, because GW doesn't like salamanders and got rid of their somewhat overpowered ability to fire 144 shots. <laughs> Probably fair enough. Yeah, so I'm going to be re-rolling the ones, twos. I'll keep the three. I'm not that greedy with those sixes and five and sixes there. There we go. So I will collect a load of dice, guys. Back with you in a moment. <laughs> 36 okay. shots. Okay, then. So we have got Toby here with his many, many dice. I feel like an orc player. So, these are just wounding on threes. Uh, yeah, because you're not an orc. <laughs> um, yeah, thankfully. So I will re-roll one of these for Salamanders. I'm uh, not sure it's going to be needed. I don't think it will either, mate. But... And just for the record, I'm I'm not even bothering to do take cover. <laughs> uh, so that is uh, five, seven, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, mate. Uh, 6, 8, and as well. 10. Yes, you do, so you're up to 4. So I'll do um, I'll do 3 lots of 10 if it's Yeah, so no AP on it at this stage. So 5s. Cool, so 2 are left alive. And 5s. They're dead. Cool. <laughs> that is a job done. Burn. Cool. Oh, we have Armageddon Fellowship here, mate. No, fortunately not. Um, I'm ready to keep going if you are, because I've only got the Go for it. guys here to fire. Um, so, hyperfrag rounds, which is the uh, D3 Blast, oh, new codex, well, new book, I should say, um, what it's the other page. So, hyperfrag rounds, heavy D3, uh, strip 5 Blast. And they're going to go into this squad here. They're going into that squad. So, it's going to um, be. I w uh, do they ignore cover those those rounds? Ooh, okay, a, um, I will area. spend the command point on take cover, so I'm down to two, yeah. just because if I can keep them alive for a bit longer, fantastic. Yeah, I, mean, I can't kill them all even roll perfectly, but it's, yeah. it's starting to whittle them down and hopefully start making them round an issue for you. Uh, so hitting you on freeze? No, no. Uh, we counting those as dents as well? No, it's just, just scary. Uh, oh, I want my old version of Salamanders. Oh, I don't get it. And you're not um, close enough to add Adrax. No, uh, so wounded you on freeze. Ah, all wounded. Cool. Um, so these, no mortal wounds either. No, because they aren't, these are not the sniper, the true snipers. So that is six shots. Uh, no minus, well, well, it's minus one because they're heavy. Yeah. Because uh, obviously a devastator. Cool, so I've with these guys here, I've got a five up save. To a four up save because of the ruin. Yeah. To a three up save because of take cover. So back up to, back up to a four up so because of the AP. Powered armored guardsman. Effectively. Huh. Uh, well, paid off for you, mate. Two survive. Oh, sorry, two die there. So um, have you got any more shooting at them? Uh, I don't think I do, mate. To be honest with you, I've got yeah. Adrax is out of line of sight of everything that's alive. Um, yeah. And he's got a five inch pistol. They are bounced. And they've got rough fire weapons. I don't know why that anything anyway. Other than tank. No, I haven't got that. So yeah, that is me done, dude. Perfect. So in that case, um, I lost two. We got leadership seven on that squad. So basically, don't roll a six. Three. Happy days. So two of those guards are dead. I'll take them off in a sec, and we will come back with guard turn two. Guard turn two. I almost said ultramarines then. Nah, <laughs> no. Not even the right colour on the board. Not even for a while either. No. Anyway, see you in a sec. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, guys, uh, you may notice some audio improvements. Uh, we have now remembered to plug the microphones into the camera. Um, apologies for the first half of the video, guys. That yeah. was just, it's late and we're tired and it's Monday, only Monday, and work mm. was long. So, it's great, Harry. What's the scores at the moment, mate? So, um, including the, to the last points that I've got, I am on 17 points to Toby's three. Yep. Realistically, though, um, it should be more, if we're not counting the, to the last points because they technically haven't been scored yet, um, it's two to three points. So, it's, it's not as badly. Yeah, and you picked up 10 victory points at the start for the primary. I've now picked, ten, picked, picked up 10 victory points, so I am now on 27. Yep, so where have you guys gone, mate? That's it. So That's the Liam Russ here has backed up with his reversing sensors. Uh, uh, avoiding some aggressors, charging him. Yep, keeping out there, and also within three inches of the objective as well. So yep. um, he's now holding that objective. Along with the special, special uh, the team. command squad. That's the word. Because I still not needed just yet. I need you to come out a bit more before they start attacking. Yep. Um, the current commander has moved a nice five, so he's there. He will be using move, move, move in a bit yep. to get in. Uh, my To the last um, infantry squad, I'm going to have to sacrifice them out and push them towards the centre with move, move, move. Realistically, I, Toby can use um, Agrax to... Agrax? Adrax. Agrax. Um, UW. <laughs> yes, Adrax to slingshot himself around. But realistically, I need to push out to make sure that I am still um, doing engagement all fronts and those sorts of... Yep. Um, missions. And then lastly, the squad in here are doing Retrieve Octarius data. Good thing is, because the Voxcasters, because they're old, um, don't ha aren't Aura um, keywords or anything like that, I can still use the Voxcaster for the, com for the platoon commander to ping some shouts to ping around. Orders, yeah. orders around whilst the action's being... And all you've really lost is a few lasguns. Yeah. So, yeah. Have you got any special different. weapons in those squads? Nope. No. Cool. Didn't have enough points. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I, I was paying attention when you did a list, honest. <laughs> right, so orders. Orders. Um, he, the company command, the platoon commander, sorry, is going to order himself move, move, move. Makes sense. So, how far is he going? Number two. So, eight, eight inches, I believe that is. So, he's in yep. the ruins. So, he's in the ruins, out of, out of the way. And. Um, I'm assuming your intention here is that where you're putting somewhere he can't be seen by the snipers. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Save us having to work out line of sights. And what we'll now do, because he's now close enough to this squad, he will then ping his second order over. Whoa. I've done a U, Toby. You have, but your metal's a model, mate, and that makes me sad. <laughs> um, the tank was the right verse up against it. So yeah, yeah. we're going to move and move the middle squad. Um, just to get them out of, out of line of sight of the um, intercessors and the frag rounds on the eliminators. Yep. Number three inches. So they will tuck in. I will do that in a bit. And the tank commander, because he's a tank commander, will order himself re-roll hit rolls of one. That makes sense. Makes sense. And uh, not in ninth edition, but it makes sense. Yeah, those things will probably lose core keywords. And likewise, I doubt the commanders will be able to order themselves. Yeah. Run faster, me. He just likes <laughs> doing marathons. Yeah. Um, effectively, what we'll do is everything is going to go into those um, aggressors. Yeah, so there's nothing in there to make me worth doing the improve my own armor save, but I will be transhumaning because that demolisher cannon scares the bejesus out of me. Don't blame you. No. So, so um, two CP for transhuman, I believe? Uh, one CP. It's only one. Well, because it's, it's less than... You've oh, it's only a four-man squad, yeah. Yeah. I've forgotten that. It's, I think it's... We'll five, double check it's it. But five, it's, five and, it's up to five miles, it's one CP. Um, I thought it was on power level, but we'll, we can't. GW being GW. So, heavy bolters will do those second. We'll do the demolish cannon first yep. because D6 damage. Got yep. I'm assuming the one. crates don't count for anything. I'm drawing drain. You can get plus one to cover save. Cover save, yeah, yeah, rather than minus to hit. So, 2D6 shots. I don't get to reroll this though. No, well, you can reroll CP. Eight shots. You know what? I'm going to take it. Above average. Now, if you uh, can finally cool. miss a lot of these, I would be happy. So, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Yep. I've missed two. Missed, missed three. three. Woohoo! Now, fours. Um, fours to wound. I might have to do a CPU re-roll here, depends what happens. Yeah. Um, What's no, the I, minus this? It's minus three of this, so you'd have a Eight. two up, so you have five up save yep. at this point. So how many is that for? Uh, four. I'm not going to do a CP re-roll just because I think it may come in handy for other places. Save two. Just save two. So, so if you could roll a one or a two here, please, Harry. First one. 
Now I'll use my CPU reroll. Roll one, I'll be happy. Yeah, okay, so one goes one is dead. very splat. Yeah, that's, that is a huge let off for me so far. Uh, especially now as being a salamander, I don't care about your minus one on your heavy bolters. No. But so. I'd appreciate it if you didn't kill me anyway. Um, so, nine shots, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. It's not a bad roll. Mm. It's okay. Actually, I didn't see all the twos with the camera. Well, and fours. Fours. Uh, three wounds. Yeah, and this is a bit too uh, Two up save. Sure. That's not good. That's um, really not good. That entirely depends on your point of view, to be honest with you, mate. Oh yeah, from you it's, it's fantastic, <laughs> but not for me. But you like green things. That's true, I do like... I, do you like painting green for some some strange reason? So do I, but I am not painting a horde army. I'm too slow a painter to paint a horde army. Airbrushes, <laughs> always the way. I um, own two, and I still <laughs> have anti-painting orcs. Um, so yeah. Any more guns, mate? No, that's it, because off camera I will advance that squad up. Um, there's you no point. rolled? Uh, I rolled a 401. So I, they've got enough They're to get They're going into in. that barrel yeah. there, aren't they? So, are you living to charge with? Uh, new. Ooh, that was a really shaky camera there, guys. Apologies. So that is the end of Imperial Guard Steel Legion turn two, going into Salamander's turn two, and we'll come back at the end of their movement phase and just show you where those guardsmen have gone. Okay, Dokes then, so end of turn two for the Salamanders. Toby, you've also scored 10 points on the primary, because yep. you're holding one there, and the limit is holding that one. Yep. So what else have you done? So effectively, they've stayed put. Uh, three of them have got some bolt guns on the tank. Whoop to do. They can be um, bolts displayed in happy days. Yeah, not too worried there. Um, Adrax has jumped up on the crate. Um, he's basically going to char. He's going to toast some guardsmen um, in the shooting phase, and then get ready to charge. The aggressors are doing twelve inches of move forward around here. They're in twelve inches of the tank. Um, I'm going to spend a chunk of CP to try and really hurt the tank, basically. Uh, and then, if I need to, I can then put some rounds in from here. And if I still need to, I've got some mortal wound capacity on the snipers to possibly plink off the remainder. Yeah. Um, so Makes sense. Turn two, kill tank. Effectively. Yeah. Climber. As I completely whiffed killing them. Actually, one of those should be gone. Because I did kill one. What's that one? Ah, yes. Fair point. <laughs> there was four of them, mate. Yeah, there were four That's of them. That's what confused you. Yeah. Which was confusing when we were talking about number of shots. So we're going to start off with the light stuff. Um, I'm going to put Adrax's Flamer. Yep. Into the guardsman. Um, guardsman. I just need to double check because I haven't double checked because I haven't played him that much. Uh, wrong book because he's in the Salamander book, um, which I open even less frequently than the Space Marine book. Hasn't um, got his nice worn creases yet. No, it really doesn't. Um, sorry, guys. I'm just trying to see if his own ability affects him. Is it Salamander? Salamander's units. No, no, that's not. It'd be. Core and oh, sorry guys, I'm really sorry about this one. It's right, it's a battle, I don't know if you coach. It's a flamecraft. It'll it's the Wall of Traits. I will get there, I promise, Wall of Traits. Lord of Fire. Salman and Models, cool. That makes me a lot happier, because I just thought, does that actually apply to him? Cool. Well, the probably roll six straight away now, and that will be for, for use. But three, uh, I will be, I will be uh, reading. Mm -hmm. Four, well, that's even better. Extra one? Yep. I was about um, to say, Toby, you better hurry, hurry up find that page because a 500 point game, I've run out of models to look at. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> uh, this, I believe, is a strength four or five flamer again. I should Unless it's six, it'll be freeze to wound. Uh, but it's plus one because of the. Oh no, it's pretty strength four flamer. So it's three, uh, freeze to wound, two to wound because of salamander abilities. So that is four wounded. It's a minus one in hate. Nately, it's assault weapons, it's minus two. Four dead. Cool, so nice and easy. Toasty Guardsman. Pop that there, and we will take off. You know what? We'll take off everyone, including the sergeant, just to make that charge just a little bit diff more difficult for those aggressors. Yeah, that makes sense, mate. So, um, I'm now going to burn 3 CP, um, which basically I am going to proc uh, Flamecraft for 2 CP, which gives you a maximum of shots on the aggressors. So, that gives you a max total of 36 shots um, going into the tank. And I'm also going to pop uh, Rites of Battle, which gives uh, maximum, basically if I've just got four floor wipes on the wound rolls, you're getting more three more wounds. Yeah. It's no longer the infinite mortal wounds that it once was. No, but for a while, Imperial Fists kept theirs, which yeah. made me sad. 
But there's everybody else has now been nerfed. I'm not so upset as I was. Makes sense. So you are, what's the toughness of it, Russ? Uh, toughness 8. It's toughness 8. Okay, so it's going to be... 5 to wound. 5 to wound, wound because of plus 1 to wound. Well, you got your mortal wounds through. Mortal wounds went through because they go through regardless. And then we'll take out the actual wound wounds. Sorry, guys, I'm doing this really slowly, I know, but this video will be really short if I don't. Right, so that is four, five, ten. That is 17 wounds at minus one. Cool, so a bit. You ignore the minus one. I ignore the minus your, one. You've got it's my own friend against me. Yes, well. Oh, I will be one of those for uh, Salamanders as well. Oh, yes. oh, another one. Cool. So, um, how many is that in total? 18. 18, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Cool. So, 18, remember he is up armoured, so this is, these are 18 two up saves. Yep. Please roll well. Uh, another another four go through, so uh, another five go through, sorry. Another five go through, so that so is he's, taken. He's taken eight, eight wounds. Eight wounds of oh. Ouch. Yeah, I've been over that. So he's down to four. So I will then put the six bolt gun shots from the incessors. Yep. That's the word I'm looking for. Let me just get rid, sorry for the camera work here. Let me just get rid of those. So these are hitting our threes. Uh, they just like me tonight. They do. Uh, wounding you on five, sixes because there's bog guns. So that is one. This is a minus two now because... No, I don't get I don't get my benefits here, so this is a five-up save. No. Four, wouldn't it not be a four-up you got up armoured? Four-up, yes, it would be because of up armoured. Yeah. So how many wounds has he got left at this point? He's got four. Four. Where's he, he has what's 12. his bracket, mate? Because um, it depends on where I go hunting for mortal wounds on him or wherever I put some hyperfrags into... Toby's asking me the questions with the camera. So. Sorry guys, I'll do a little jig. <laughs> uh, Scions. Because if he's just on a bracket, I might go fishing for a mortal wound. I think it's three wounds is his. So tank commander is one to three wound, one to three wounds, four to six. Yes, he's currently on his middle bracket. Cool, I'm going fishing for a mortal wound. With the eliminators. With the eliminators, yep. yep. So these will be the mortal wound, wound variant. So hitting on threes because I have not moved. Uh, these, I believe, are strength 5. So I will dice and I'll double check. Uh, I will come and reroll that one. So one is definitely wounded. One is definitely caused a mortal wound. The eliminator squad, yes, that as well. So the execution around is strength 5. Cool, so... So at minus 1, so you're obviously ignoring the minus 1 because he's a he yep. heavy. So two more at minus 1. Two more trip saves. Yep. And these are D3 damage pop, aren't they? Uh, no, these are flat... Well, no, there's one damage now. Hello, hang on a second, Harry. These are minus two. Sorry, I'm reading the wrong thing. I was reading the execution profile. This is the mortis rounds, which is still strength five, but it's minus two, two damage. Okay, so Four he's down. Save. He is down to one room remaining with that roll. Yeah, because you took the one for the mortal. Yeah, and then the two damage there. My poor, Dang him. poor tank. Dang him. This could be quite dangerous as well now because. Oh, uh, have I got? Uh, no, we won't do it. I should have checked it. I think I think one guy will cut you to see, but I'm not going to uh, be janky there. Yeah. That is my shooting phase complete. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, so I'm happy to go on the charge now, mate. Yeah, Because you, you can move the models you go. So Adrax is going to go clonk some guardsmen. Yep. On a six. So that's enough to go upsy daisy, Over downsy daisy. Yeah, makes sense. Um, and then... Gressers. Oh, I am really tempted to charge tank. Go on. Um, uh, if you do, I will be spinning a CP to Overwatch. That's the problem. I don't get the double shot, though, from the turret. It was just... What is the charge range? Probably I an 11. A 10. That's not 10. worth it. That's just you not sure? worth it. Yeah, I'm going into the troops. Okay. Well, they're in. They're in, but it wouldn't have got me to the... I don't know. So they're going there with the consolidation. They will just basically wrap round effectively is what I'm aiming for. Cool. Um, so the idea of the guys basically is that then Adorax can consolidate down the barrels and get look out there again. Makes sense. Um, so let's pause there because I need to let some dice because I haven't used these guys in combat for a while, and um, we'll back you in just a moment. I'm not liking these guardsmen's chances, to be honest. Yeah, good. Cool, so who are you starting first with, Toby? So we're going to start with Adrax. Okay. Um, so, just want to double check if it's, if it is really, really silly. Until the end of the... Yeah, so he's actually winning on ones, but yeah. Twos. So hitting, he's got six packs on the charge, so hitting you on freeze because his hammer is unwieldy, if to use old terminology. Um, so, four wound, it's 
Stre you something like strength 10 plus one to wound. Twos. <laughs> Salamander reroll. So that is three of them, minus three four. Cool, so three go splat. We'll take those off in a second. Are you interrupting? Uh, you know what, I'm all right. Cool. So then, aggressors. Um, these will be hitting on fours as well, because power fists. Uh, Rerolling, are they core aggressors? They're not, are they? Uh, yes, they are. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. That seems wrong. No, aggressors are core. Every, pretty much all infantry units are core. That just seems wrong. So I'll reroll that one then. Uh, if that Those was a three, hit. I think. So then again, again, it's trend plus two, Jeez. plus one. To... So I'm going to reroll. That's squad wiped. That, I believe is a squad. Cool, that is a squad wiped. The squad, that squad has been pounded into the dirt. And then I'm going to consolidate towards. Dunk. Like so. And then I am back into. Uh, Ignoring. Back, back into the lookout, lookout sir. sir. Where did I put my tape measure? I just want to make sure I haven't jumped out of those moment range, to be honest, guys. I have not. Cool. So that is my turn. Um, Makes sense. So you get another three points for those moments. Yep. Because you haven't fallen back against anything. I have not. Haven't killed anything big yet. Or a character. <laughs> no, annoyingly. Yet. Um, but yes, that is my turn. And line breaker. Not yet. Not just yet, because those aggressors aren't quite there. No, I've got to go into, into they're in the pie at the moment, as I would call it. Um, as you can see, guys, I like food. I think of food. <laughs> so that is the turn. Um, we'll come back to you with scores that are going into battle round turn, battle round three. And in that case, guard turn three. Okay, so we're into guard turn three. We are. Uh, panicked. Fair enough. <laughs> What's the score, at least? Uh, so scores and doors um, is 26 points to me. That's including my 10 for whilst we stand with, uh, for, to the last because I have lost five for that squad dying in the middle. Should have lost another five. Shouldn't have really, but... And another couple for over the moment and yeah, assassinate. Yeah, true. So He's worth a lot to me. He is worth a lot to me. Well, a lot to well, you and, and yeah. me. True. So what I've done is I have um, kept him stationary. I have spent one command point for jury rigging. So he did, can't move, but he does heal a wound. Reason being there is that hopefully if I can deal with the squad in the middle, Having two wounds, it should protect me a little bit more from, say, a couple stray bolts or a stray sniper round. Yeah, that makes sense. That's my thinking behind it. Um, if not, hey, it is what it is. I've also spent another command point, so I'm, I'm down to one now, the one that I gained, on... Um, Relentless. It's called Relentless. So that's from the Great Good book. Um, that means that um, he acts in his top profile for all... For movement, shooting, all that sort of stuff, he's top profile. Yep. Basically, what it means is he's as good as he can be, so he can try and get rid of those um, aggressors and leave the leave the space open to deal with um, ad adrax. In terms of other stuff, the infantry have just stayed there. They're going to hold out for just a little bit longer um, in their nice bit of cover. The plasma guns command squad have moved around, so they can they are within eight inches for the rapid fire doctrine. Um, of Steel Legion to either go into the aggressors or preferably um, Adrax. Then yeah, the company commander um, managed to roll a nice big six in his advance, so he's swung back around over here um, and will move over there in the near future. Can you just make him do a bleed test? Yeah. <laughs> Cruel man. So, what are you practice gonna... for September. Yeah, true. So, are you going to get on to your orders now? Orders wise. Move and move, etc. Tank Commander will order himself re hit rolls of one because I now need to kill those aggressors. If I don't this turn, I think this is pretty much game set and match. I reckon that's a fair point, mate. Um, the company commander is going to order re hit rolls of ones to take aim on this squad of plasma guns. Yep. You can probably guess what's going to happen in a bit. Yep. Now, with the Laurel's command, if I roll a four plus, I can do an additional order to them. So we'll do that in here. Yep, so um, I will give them rear wound rolls of one. Yep. It's complete, uh, things bring it down is a technical term. Um, and then the company commander himself will order himself move, move, move. So how far does he go? An inch. It's enough to get him out of line of sight on the objective. That's the main thing. Yeah, that's fair enough, dude. Um, so yeah, we shall go on to shooting. Are you ready or do you need time to think? Uh, we can crack straight on, really. So the demolished tank is going to go into the Iran. Uh, aggressors. Yeah, I'm burning my last CP on trans. Don't blame you. So, um, 
2d6 shots with the demolish can because I have stay stationary you're under half movement. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, hitting on freeze, re rolling those ones. Nice. Let's roll. Now, fours. Give me a decent roll here. That's good enough. So these are um, at minus three AP. You've no cover because you are smack down the open. They so are. Five, six up saves, please. Yep, I flipped into the nice. Oh, they've all gone through, mate. Cool. So, so uh, I've got five dice in my hand here. So first one kills one. Second one kills one. Third one kills one. Yep, so that is the end of the aggressors. Good. And the bolters are wasted. Yeah. So I'm but, assuming the bolters are going into there. Yeah, the bolters are going to go into there just because you never know. It all, it's it's, it's better to it. overkill. Yeah, yeah, 100% agree with you. Four, uh, six, and eight. Plasmas? Eight, yes. All plasma guns are going to go into Agrax. Fair enough. Not Agrax, Adrax. Adrax. You might as well have just got a bottle of wash and put it on a 40 mil base. So, um, um, yeah, there's a few memes. Sorry, I I am level. going to um, overcharge you, so I'm going to do these two shots at a time for their rapid firing. Um, just as a point of reference for you there, mate, um, he is one of his relics, uh, he reduces damage. Oh, God, through the chest. One of his relics, he reduces damage by one. Um, are you toughness five? Uh, I am toughness four. Toughness four, I'll still overcharge them because two's to wounds is better than three's to wounds. Yeah, fair enough. So, first guy hitting on freeze because they're a veteran. So, first guy. Uh, one hit, second guy, uh, one hit and it explodes, two hits, one hit and explode, two hits, one hit and explode, cool. So, accurate. relatively accurate, Yep. that's the difference between three plus and four plus. Oh, a huge difference on it. Huge difference. Um, choose to wound. That's why you do, <laughs> that's why you do yeah, yeah, straight man. fate. Fair enough, how is um, that? That is six in total. Six so in total. Six four up pin buns, I'm guessing. Uh, I believe he has a standard four up. Yeah, he does indeed. Cool. So, so he takes Not great. two wounds. Sure. It's better than nothing, realistically. Yeah, uh, I did find dice to mock that up. Just let me sort that out. He makes him down two, four wounds remaining. Good old Andrax. Cool. Uh, got two, him. Four, six, eight. I believe these crafty guardsmen here. 18, 19 shots. We'll just go, we're just going to laz you to death at this point because they're, they're 12, 12 inches away. Yep. Might as well go for it. So these are going to go get me into um, Adrax. Yep. So fours. And they've got no orders here. Oh, they're brave command, they run away. Tactically repositioned. Run away. Um, that's one wound. One wound is a two up armor. Just Fine. about. Yep. Only needs to be just, mate. Only Very true. Just. Um, you that know, shooting phase done, mate. That's shooting phase done. Um, that is a turn done. You know what? I'm quite happy with that. That's what you needed. Yeah. He's still alive, but realistically, he's got two jobs now. He can either go and kill some squishy guardsmen, or he probably needs to go deal with the tank. Why not both? Why not both? Very true. So that is the plan of attack, guys. Um, in all fairness, snipers will probably deal with the plasma, and he'll probably deal with the tank. Um, Makes sense. Then we'll see what happens. So that is guard turn three. Yep. Um, we'll come back to you with Salamander's movement turn three in just a moment. Right then, so end of Salamander's turn. Movement. Movement turn two. Three. Turn three, sorry. <laughs> it's been we'll a long there. day. Um, once again, you've got 10 points on the primary because yep. they're still holding those and, and they're, they're still, still holding them. Um, so that is effectively planned there guys so what i've done is I've moved these guys around to get some line of sight onto the tank i realized i haven't actually gained anything because of the way uh because moving and bolt drill and discipline yeah. whatever it is you're not an ultra mean you can't move into counter stationary no and i haven't got the cp to make myself counter stationary through various stratagems but regardless that's just the way it is adrax has moved to a central point to either deal with the tank if needs be hopefully it'll die to fire pack to shooting um, if he does die before shooting before he has a chance to toast anything, he can toast the plasma gunners and then he's in position to charge either of them and potentially rounds the company commander if, I, if worst comes to worst. Yeah, makes and sense. I'll roll some dice and 
do detect measuring. And the snipers haven't moved, because heavy weapons were well, right. And they can see anything already. They can see all they need to, they've got the range on, they've got shots onto the plasmas, they've got shots into the squad and the ruins, or the tank. It makes complete sense to me. Yep, yeah. so we're going to start off with the bolters. Yep. Six shots into tank. Uh, it's minus one to hit because I'm going through a tiny bit of mechanicus, not that it makes any difference, really. Uh, it would be a imperial fist of that roll. Mm, six to, six to wound. wound you. Salamander. Salamander re-roll. No. Good. Just, just it, it was worth it to No, happen, but it was guys. worth a shot. Um, so we'll now go on to um, Adrax. Adrax himself with, then? Um, um, no, we'll go with the snipers first. And then once again into the tank. Yeah, so cool. these will be again be the mortis, mortis rounds. Hitting on threes. Wounding you on sixes. So that is a mortal wound. Um, and then Salamander reroll. So it's a mortal wound, and then this is at minus... Two, did you say last time? I did. So basically a five up save. Yep. Come on. No. Oh. Um... I can literally see the cogs whirring, guys. This is, the, the issue I've got is um, I'm going to have to spend a CP on that, even though I don't really want to because I need to try and keep them alive. Yep, so that burns your last CP. It does, which is really frustrating. That is a save, though. That is a save. So he's got one, one, uh, one health, one wound. <laughs> one wound on this poorly little tank, and that's me out of CP. So I can't overwatch now, which is really important. Yep, Bear in so mind he's there. Adrax is now going to flame it. Yep. So, D6 shots. One shot, I will use his own aura ability. For one shot. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, it is strength four, so it's going to be five fives strength. because of Salamander abilities. And then a Salamander reroll. One dice. Hey, there we go. Uh, so, I believe this is Drakis will now be at minus two. Come on. Give me that six. No. no. He Does is he gone. No, no, he implodes. So that is huge for me because that assassinates. That is over uh, moment. a moment and it takes five points of Harry's for yeah. last. So that is a huge swing. Um, well done, Adrax. I am proud of you. Oh dear. Um, this actually now makes the game quite tricky for me. Yep, and now Adrax is going to charge the plasma gunners. I can't do anything, so... On a six, I don't think he'll make it. Because I mean, you've got to go around... Oh, actually, I will. Uh, yeah, you'll get him in. Yeah, with an inch. <sighs> oh dear. So this will be, again, his six attacks. Yep. I almost brought Vulcan a stand rather than him. I'm quite glad I brought him. Uh, so this is hitting on freeze. One might live. One might live. This is wounding you on twos. Yep. <laughs> I will actually spend my last CP and my Salamander reroll. Yep. Cool. Yes. That's a squad. Because again, Wiped. that's another five points. Um, gone. Can you consolidate me towards your nearest model, sir? Uh, which would be him. Probably him, I imagine. Yeah. So that is my turn, guys. Um, that was huge. So yeah. I have no CP left, but regardless, I've got nothing ready to be shot at either. So I'm back at that. Because you have las guns. Yeah. And frag grenades. Yeah. I might be in trouble now. Yeah. I think I really am in trouble. Let's work out some points, guys, because it might, uh, with me getting now also getting line breaker. Yes. So let's work out if Harry can actually get back in this fight. Um, uh, we... I think it is still possible, but I need to start doing, I probably need to spend next turn killing him. Good luck, sir. But yeah, we're back yeah. with you then in guard turn four and battle round turn four. Uh, we'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so guard movement fix turn four. Turn four. Things are looking complete. very rough for me. Yeah, it's basically turning into this. I'm a really bad camera angle here, guys. But it's basically turning into mission kill space marine. Yes, um, and there's a lot of wounds there. I don't really have any AP. No, you have no AP. I've got two up armor. Um, you don't have any CP though, which is quite. I have no CP, so I can't do much there. We were just discussing. This almost feels like old school. Uh, Drukari, death, death by a thousand, thousand cuts. cuts. Yeah. How many las guns can we point at the Space Marine Captain? Hopefully enough. And some frag grenades. Yes, and some frag grenades. So, movement wise, the company, com the platoon command, sorry, has moved six inches so that he is close to Adrax. 
um, but also within six inches, I've managed to daisy chain them out as much as possible whilst staying coherency. Yeah. So that he can order that squad first rank fire, second rank fire. Harry's not too worried about consolidation because uh, heroic intervention here because he knows that if he doesn't kill him in shooting, I'm he's gonna going to have to charge him anyway. Yeah. So he's not too stressed there, and I have no Overwatch capacity because I'm just a pee. And exactly. It's it's better than nothing, realistically. Yeah. Um, so yeah, orders wise, he will order himself um, take aim for reroll ones, and can he give himself an additional order? Yes, he can. Yeah. He'll give reroll wound rolls a one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, and then the first squad, the infantry squad here, will get first rank fire, second rank fire. Yep. So. And nope, they nope. don't get an additional order. Which Shame. yeah, reroll ones would have been nice, but actually, the more shots is the more important. <laughs> well, well, more valuable. So, um, paying guard properly. We'll start off with the company commander. Yeah. So, D6 shots. So, do you want shots. a frag grenade here, guys? Yeah, frag grenade rather than the last pistol. Makes so, sense. Uh, hitting him on freeze. Do you three, is he? Nice. Yeah. So, re roll that one. Cool. Uh, five still wound here. No. Nope. Uh, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Times four is 28 shots plus another D6. From the frag grenade that the um that the sergeant will throw so that's two so that is uh 30 shots in total yep we'll get some blood goes right so we've got two lots of 15. yep so back with the horde player so uh, we'll do one round and then second round in yep. sec. so first round so these are hitting on fours no not regards. great at all if i move forward a little bit you can see the whole first tree um five to wound not a single oh, one. God, what a, that's a proper Harry roll. That's that a very Harry roll. Um, and then second one. That's a bit better. That would be better for wounds, though. Oh, that's true. And fives and sixes. Two wounds. Two wounds. He has survived so far. So Two up armor. Two up armor save. Oh, he does need cool. a wound. So he's down three wounds remaining. If you could change my dice for me, sir, I would appreciate it. Uh, I think he's... Has he even got two or three attacks? He has got three attacks with power swords. I'm going to have to charge in. Yep. I can't have a watch. So he's in. What so a surprise. He will, he so will he's go to objective. there. So he should be... Yep, he's within three inches. Right, can I just pass you the camera, dude, so you can show the guys? So what I've done here, excuse the camera, is... So he was here. I then charged so he is within half an inch here because you just have to get close yep. to the model and he is in engagement range. But I am within three inches of that object, so I am on both. Realistically, if I don't kill him, which I don't think I probably will, um, Toby can compile in onto him. Or I deny, the other option is, I then base to base you to stop you coming within. It takes me off that object, but I can then base to base you to get you off. You'd have to survive the mighty power, power mallet that Hadrex has. But then, if I do base to base you, you can't then consolidate onto that objective. You'd have to consolidate away from the objective. That is true. So it's it will be a, basically on three. It stops you getting fifteen if, points. Yes. Well, no, you're going to get fifteen points anyway. But it stops you getting um, three objectives rather than two. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So three attacks, hitting on threes. All nice. hits. Um, power now. sword, force to wound. Two wounds. So I will have to base to base you. Four ups. Makes one. Takes okay. a wound. Cool. Takes so he is down to two, and I will base to base you just to stop you getting close to that objective. Behold the mighty mallet. Oh dear. Oh, what's it actually called? Let's get it, isn't it? Malleus Noctum. So hitting you on freeze. I prefer the mallet. Yeah, power mallet. Rebranded. Um, then we're wounding Choose. you on twos. Uh, so that is five saves, sir, at minus three or four. Not that you overly care. Minus three. Five pin buttons. I've made one. You've just taken um, 18 damage. Four times. Six, four times. 16 damage. Lovely. Cool. Um, he's dead. I need to get him against your Morgan the other week. <laughs> he's very much dead. Cool. Uh, and I, I really realise I think we can probably call it a day here. Oh, let's play the minus turn. Yeah, go on. Go on. Yeah, we might actually, as well. We yeah, we might as well. Let's not finish that after a battle round. So guys, we'll come back with the wrap-up of Salamander's uh, turn four in just a moment. All right then, so um, the final little bit of purging is happening with the Salamanders. Yep. So, so 
We're going to start off with bolt guns, or bolt rifles, I should say. This squad has moved off their objective just to get line of sight and range on the squad in the far side of things. We know this is probably the last turn, guys, so I'm not too stressed about holding on that objective. Um, Agrax has stayed within his quarter to continue getting you some points yep. and be limited, so it's a quite happy where they are. They're quite happy on their perch. So, yeah. So, I suppose I wanted this to find his own for a reason, Harry. There is a reason for that. Um, oh, so, bolt rifles first. Good on, hit yours. Freeze. That's a terrible roll. It's not great. Uh, not that we needed to be that great. Uh, winning or freeze, sound like a re-roll. Um, so I mean, I was obviously in, in Salt Doctrine now, so that would be two and uh, minus one. Two six-up saves. Nope, that's two dead. Uh, realistic, it doesn't really matter at this point, so I'll just, that was awful camera angle there. We'll just do those two. How many is left in that squad then, Harry? There, there are two, four, there's six. Okay, so. So you will get max for blast. Yeah, so three shots. From uh, the each, for each from the hyperfrag rounds, hitting you on freeze. Then these are wounding on freeze. We roll one of those salamanders. Always away. So that is another um, five. There's no minus on these though. From my um, so I'll have to do the first three um, in cover. So the first three on the four up. Cool. So one's dead. Yep. Then the last two on four ups. Cool. So the guy's inside, so I am now off the objective. Doesn't really matter, matter at this point, so... Nope. Then Adrax is going to proc my last CP point, uh, my last CP on... Um, Fire the Banner, I think it's called. Um, basically, Mortal Wounds on fours. Yeah, because so, it just if, if you do get a couple of Mortal Wounds through, that's an, yeah. another model. So D6 death. shots, four shots, I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to be greedy this time. I've learned my lesson. Uh, wounding you on... Freeze now because I'm not getting plus one to wound. So it's two mortal wounds uh, plus two, uh, three at minus one, I would love to say. Yes, minus one. Basically, right, so you need to make three sixes to keep one alive. Yep. Yeah. Not quite. Not quite. Okay, so that is me fully tabled. That doesn't happen that often in our games. That doesn't actually, to be fair. That, I think that's the first, first time we've actually had a tabling. For, at least for a very long time. Oh yeah, I think we might have had one or two in eighth. But yeah, in no, ninth, first time in ninth. Yeah, this is, well, we haven't played for that much because of COVID. Yay! Damn you, Papa Noble. Anyway, have a quick we, wrap up. Yeah, have we'll we come back with the end of game. And that was that. That's that. Done. That was a, quite a nice short game. I quite like 500 points. Hey, to be fair, 500 points is actually quite good fun. It, it may, I think the thing that makes 500 points quite interesting is you can't just go all out. No, it, the hardest part is picking secondaries. Mm. Because a lot of like the kill, the more you're know, going, do I take these two actions? I've only got four units. Yeah. <laughs> do I probably do 100 sacrificing a unit to do? Probably yeah. not. But it was, yeah, so final score, let's get that out of the way. So Victory for Salamanders, as you probably guessed, the tabling came out at 69 points Salamanders, 36, 36 points to the guard. Yeah. Um, so... Not great on the scoreboard. I didn't think I brought that hard a list, but uh, apparently to, I did. To be honest, the thing that made it really quite good was um, you yeah, had the mortal wound stratagem. I know it's only yeah. three mortal wounds, yeah, yeah. but then you can combine that with the maximum shots you're just causing weight of dice. And yeah. even though I'm ignoring the AP minus one and the um, uh, and still and still legion, yeah. so and plus two up arms, so. There's enough there, plus the mortal wounds from the eliminators. There's enough there to actually playing the guard their own game, just weighted dice. Yeah, weighted dice, and you saw what I did. I rolled a lot of ones. Yeah, your rolling hasn't helped. I rolled really well at times during that as well, guys. And obviously, you can't blame it is, the it dice. Is. But yeah, the, the eliminators are quite good fun. Uh, they, I think they were decent and quite for the, for the points. I think they're, they're seventy-five reasonably, points. I think they're, they're quite efficient. Good. Plus, um, you didn't take it in this in this matchup, but especially at 500 points, at 75 points, you can kind of think, actually, I'll take a squad of those. Suddenly, as a unit, it'll open up something like Octarius Data if you wanted to bring that. If, yeah. if say, you didn't have an objective in the centre of the board or in, you I could just sit on. I'd be hard. 500 points, and it's building for 500 points. I think I'd be all sent by two squads because you've got the guerrilla warfare and the forward deployment ability. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure you'd fit two squads in just because then you're running out of other, other maybe other units. but again i might have dropped an aggressor and what well, and probably yeah. and then probably wouldn't have run adrag adrag's just cleared up at the end he was, oh, was great 
Uh, right. I mean, he's not hitting thing. He's against his ideal targets to a certain extent. And he's got a hammer against a tank, which I didn't really didn't swing. And his flamer can actually do some damage against some of four models. Squishy infantry as well. Um, yeah, without the armor save. So he made a huge, basically one with the game, just charging forwards. Yep. And the aggressors would effectively screen for him. I did contemplate basically running the intercessors in front of the aggressors in front of Adrax, playing self-sacrifice on the intercessors, and then transhuman on them. And just to quote I've a... Got uh, to kill you. Without quoting a South Park line. Um, yes, <laughs> Just that charge up the board. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, Say, so, right, you've got to kill these before you can kill them. Yeah. And once you kill them, then Andrax will mop you. Yeah. Um, similar to what you did with Gaz against me, the Drakari, but I just scattered. Yeah. Um, and, and that's fit. I, the, plan, the plan of action for me was um, turn two, I kill those aggressors. Yep. That didn't help for me in my case. Turn two, kill the, uh, kill the aggressors. Turn three, then, I had options. I could either go after Adrax or, more likely, what would have happened was use the um, Demolish Cannon to just bombard the, the incestors on that yeah. objective, deny you a primary point, and then suddenly that clears up a nice avenue for, say, me to move, move, move an infantry squad up the board. Yeah, they can then get onto an objective do your scans. and do Octyrus uh, as well. Skulls, not scans, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. shoot skulls. That didn't happen in this case, but it's what it is. I <laughs> think realistically, I could, I think if you're going to do 500 points more often, you could do silence, and I think that would be a better option. Yeah. Because you've, you've got the AP on the guns. Yeah, that would make a big difference. It's yeah, This was a bit of fun, guys. It yeah, was, it was literally fun, a case of, we need to get a battle report out to you. We haven't got our time. 500 points. We haven't done it for a while. This is the Escalation Leagues. Yeah. So makes a big, nice change. Uh, quite good fun. We said it's almost quite nice with Kill Team coming out. I, we, I know a lot of the reviewers are saying that Kill Team doesn't feel like mini 40k, but it almost feels like Kill Team levels. Yeah. It's quite good fun. Um, if you don't play that many strike missions, go not strike force, what's it called? Come up patrol, play some. No, it's it's fun. good fun. Makes your old brain think. I'm trying to get secondaries in with not a lot of units and don't bring custodes because you'd have like four models, if that. So, guys, we'll leave you in peace. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, chat a chat with us. Do you enjoy the game? Would you want to see more 500 point games? Um, yeah. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.